Suppose you invest $8,500 in an account that earns 7% simple interest annually. Use this information to complete the table below, round to the nearest cent as needed. Well, notice how the first row is given for us, where the starting balance is $8,500, the simple interest for the first year is $595, then the ending balance is $9,095, which is the sum of 8,500 and 595. Because this account earns simple interest annually, this interest amount is not going to change over the five years. It will be $595 each year because for simple interest, the interest is based upon the starting balance, not the increasing balance over time. But let's go ahead and check to make sure the $595 is correct by using the simple interest formula, I equals P sub zero times R times T, where I is the interest amount in dollars, P sub zero is the beginning balance in dollars, R is the annual interest rate as a decimal, and T is time in years. So if we use I equals P sub zero times R times T, we have I the interest is equal to 8,500 times the rate as a decimal, which is 0 0.07 times the time in years, which is one. And let's just make sure this product is $595. We have 8,500 times 0 0.07 times one, which does give us the amount of simple interest of $595. And of course we can sum these two amounts to check 9,095, but let's also use the second simple interest formula here, where A is the balance in dollars after T years, and P sub zero is the starting balance, R is the annual simple interest rate as a decimal, and T is time in years. Applying this formula, we should get $9,095, but let's just check. We have A equals 8,500, times the quantity one plus R as a decimal is 0 0.07 times T in years, and therefore T is one. And now let's evaluate this on the calculator. We have 8,500 and then in parentheses one plus 0 0.07 times one, but times one isn't needed. Enter, and notice how we do get 9,095. And now to complete the table, the ending balance for year two is going to be $9,095 plus the interest of $595, which gives us $9,690. The ending balance for year two is the beginning balance for year three. And again, the interest is still $595, and therefore the ending balance, which is given to us, is $9,690 plus $595, which is $10,285. The ending balance in year three is the beginning balance in year four. And then we take the beginning balance of year four, add the interest of $595 to get the ending balance in year four. $10,285 plus $595 is $10,880. The ending balance in year four is the beginning balance in year five. And again, to find the ending balance in year five, we take the beginning balance, add the interest, $10,880 plus $595 is $11,475. I hope you found this helpful.